Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. Uh, as you can see in front of me, I have the corpse card. 90% uh, nearly finished, just a few small details, kind of important ones to get finished. But I'll show you an update on that later on in the video. Uh, tonight I just want to do kind of like a progress video. I'm going to finish some parts on the corpse card. Um, I'll just record it throughout the night. It's Sunday night. It's, let me check the time. It's nearly 10 o'clock. It's warm as hell here in Ireland. Like all the windows are open, it's that rotten heat. It's so, it's like it's sticky. But at least it's still bright, it's 10 o'clock and it's still really bright out, so. Um, so I'm just gonna do a bit of painting tonight, record the, along the way, kinda like a process video. Uh, show you how I can get it on. I have the carbs card nearly finished as I said. The necromancer in the back, I've got a, he's about half done. I got the outside of the clock finished, I'll show that later on as well. But tonight the main focus is these guys and to be honest with you I completely forgot about all these there's only four zombie guys to like pull along the corpse card and I completely forgot about them because I'm so used to looking at the model without it now and um, that these were even they were nowhere near my paint session they're in a box put up somewhere so uh, the only problem is this guy doesn't have an arm like a weapon because I can't find it I'm gonna look up a pictures online to make sure I'm, I've seen it and I just thought it wasn't so so I'm going to base them, hopefully I should get one or two of them finished tonight if I take my time with one of them I get all the details and everything done. Um, yeah, so I'm going to base them now, get a bit of paint done, I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds. Oh, I have the two wheels as well, i get them done whenever. And uh, so stay tuned for a couple of seconds and see how I get on. Alright guys, so let's see how I'm getting on. Just move everything out of the way. Uh, I put, what have I been using? GW... Cadian flesh tone for the first tone of uh, skin colour on it. Um, I haven't used this enough to really know what it's like. Uh, I've never used much layer than their layer paints. But it's pretty thin, so like, you don't have to water down as much, which is kind of pretty good. So, as you can see, like it's pretty transparent so far. So, at least a minimum of two coats is left to go on. I've used it before. Um, guys on the carp's card and I have to put like two or three tones on it but they were kind of hard to paint because they were stuck right in there uh, For so the update on this is what I'll show you I started on the fire let me just there you are um, it's not finished I get a bit better focus on it come on come on come on come on come on, come on. stop focusing on that Um, I went with what did I call sunburst yellow for like the base color underneath it, and then blazing orange, and then I put like some of the orange into the little holes in the middle there. And uh, that's still getting worked on. I still have to finish the end of the flames, and I have to do some color on the skulls in, which I think I'm just gonna do it like a like a black effect. I'm hoping to try and get in the skulls, um, so hopefully it should come out alright. Um, oh yeah look at the second I said it's like still bright out it's like two minutes after I said that it just turned pitch black here so that kind of annoyed me a little bit but anyways one thing that annoys me with the carp skirt is look at this little thing on it it's a little weird I don't know it kind of looks like a, like a rhino head even nearly but originally I wanted to put I have a few zombie dragon bits left over and I want to put the zombie dragon head over that but it's way too big um, cause if you put it, it kind of goes back to there and that's the last where you put the uh, four guys pulling it along so that idea kind of went out the window cause it just didn't fit on it, it was too big so and then you have your necromancer guy that I've been working on and you can see it a lot better there Um, went with the spooky effect purple hopefully should look alright. Um, I haven't done this hair. I put one layer of skin on him, skin tone, and then I just I didn't know what to do for the inside, so I just put like a grey kind of clad in it. So hopefully that should be okay. I, don't, I really don't know what colour I'm going to do the whip yet. I have no clue. I haven't even looked up ideas for it yet. But anyway, that necromancer is pretty cool. 
Okay guys, so it's pretty late now and I'm finishing up for the night. I am a slow ass painter, so I didn't get as much done as I hoped. <clears throat> but uh, first off with the Necromancer, all I did really with him was there you go. <clears throat> um the skin and the colour on him and his face fiddle focusing, there you go. Um, and on his hand and I got the sword done um, I was thinking about giving him like a like a special effect colour type on the sword since he's a necromancer but then I thought I do not really know him for having their weapons and kind of he has the whip as well so I thought if I was going to do anything like that I'd just take the sword off him cut it off and then just like give him like some staff or something that if I had anything like that so so he's getting there. Um, I got these guys, the four of these guys, mostly finished. Um, I got the skin tone and some of the colors, everything pretty much done. Just the detail work after that, then like highlights and you know, like the blood effect. They're not just gonna be plain skin. Have a look at this guy. I had to move around a bit to get the best light because it's really late now. Um, I I altered, ooh. I altered between kind of grey and brown for the claws on. Like this guy still needs I still have to do his hair. Like everything else is kind of done on him apart from details. So that's that guy, and then the last guy, the guy with the sword. Uh, the sword needs a bit of work to wash and come out that good on it, but everything else kind of seems alright for now. Let's get a detail work done on it probably tomorrow night, hopefully. I'll do another one of these videos, something like that. So, um, and then, obviously, this left is the corpse card that I didn't actually touch this tonight. Um, there's nothing really left to do now apart from the flames and the wheel. And that stupid weird rhino head thing on the front. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I might just chip it off all together and replace it with something small. So, that's it. A bit of late night painting done tonight. Finishing up now. I'm hoping, if I do do this tomorrow night, I will get these guys finished. Get the details done on them. I get a better look at them in the morning. Do you ever do the painting where you leave it? Then you look at it the next day and you get like a better judge of it. So, I'm kind of sick of looking at them now at this point. So let me know what you guys think. If you think I'm on the right track, let me know. I ramble on a bit of this on this video, so yeah. I said I might as well break the camera while I'm painting away here. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below and hit the like button. I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.